It was on a Sunday in April, 1943, when the skull was found. Four teenage boys, good friends I assume, went out to look for birds' nests. They trespassed in a haggly wood and found themselves upon a hollow witch elm. One of the boys climbed to the witch elm to see if there were any birds inside, but instead he found a skull. Frightened, the four teenage boys ran from the woods and decided to keep this a secret amongst them, as they weren't supposed to be in Hagley Wood. They also weren't too sure if the skull was human. However, that night, the youngest of the friends spilled the beans and his father told the police about his son's findings. The police went to the old witch elm and found not only the skull the boys had found, but an entire skeleton with a severed hand. Her mouth was stuffed with a peach-colored taffeta. Nearby, a gold wedding ring and a pair of crepe shoes were found. Her hand was also found buried nearby. Professor James Webster, who examined the body, decided that the body was of a woman who was 35. She possibly gave birth to a child and had been killed 18 months ago. Asphyxiation seemed the probable cause of death. Police efforts to find the murderer went nowhere as they were distracted with other cases pouring in as it was wartime. By Christmas time, the graffiti began popping up. Who put Lubella down the witch elm? Hagley Wood Bella. And finally, who put Bella in the witch elm? Each new pop-up seemed to be forged by the same hand. The graffiti made the police feel as someone knew, but was it the murderer writing on the walls? That was one question they couldn't answer. Soon the graffiti became a joke of sorts, as others began writing on the walls as their tagline. Theory after theory emerged after the findings of the skeleton. One theory involved witchcraft. Professor Margaret Murray suggested that a severed hand was a sign of a black magic execution. Everything associated with the skeleton could be linked to witchcraft. The name given could be linked to Belladonna. There is also a local legend surrounding Hagley Wood regarding the use of the wood for witchcraft. It is theorized that Bella could have been executed for a wrongdoing against the coven. Another theory involves Bella knowing too much. Wilfred Byford Jones, a columnist for the Wolverhampton Express and Star, was said to be contacted by a woman named Anna. Anna told Jones that Bella knew too much about a pro-German spy ring. This theory took investigators on various leads, but they seemed to hit a brick wall and no arrests were made. Over the years, more graffiti has popped up, and more theories are created but the case seems to have gone cold. Many believe that someone higher up is covering something. The police refuse to release the files, and even Bella's remains have disappeared. Bella's witch elm still sits rotting in Hagley Wood, and the original graffiti still remains, haunting the town. They are a testament to a crime that will never be solved. Who put Bella in the witch elm?